This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutation viewers, Waldo back here with another episode of Fable. In the last episode, we started our journey as a little child coming to collect coins to earn, earn enough money to get our sister a present. We did some good deeds, we did some bad deeds, but we got the coin all the same, and now we need to get some chocolate to our sister. We saw adultery, physical abuse, neglect of duty, uh... What are the, uh, negligence and other such things, but uh, we still got what we wanted, so thus no repercussions were had, and our journey ends as we give the uh, chocolate to our sister. Uh, time to live out the rest of our days in our quaint little uh, village. Um, oh, by the way, I'm playing this game on the Xbox 360 with the Xbox disc, so I'm using the emulation again like I did with Star Wars, so I forgot to mention that last episode, I don't know why I forgot that. But anyway, let's give the chocolate to our sister. Perhaps she'll be nice to us for once instead of giving us noogies. Ugh, I hate noogies. Yeah, if it'll shut I her up for a second. I you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Diamonds. That'll shut her up. I mean, <laughs> here you go, sis. I love you. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Wait, our mom's still alive, actually? Huh, and why are you wearing a midriff girl you are like what i don't know like 13 years old don't don't show off your skin like that you're my sister not a harlot i mean you can dress however you want sister because you're an individual and i respect you like that wait there's something wrong bandits <laughs> Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. My god, the city's burning on fire. I was supposed to do that. Or no, uh, that was the bully. The bully was supposed to do that. Anyway, we gotta, gotta find our way out of here, but there's flames, oh god. And I don't know how we did it, but hiding behind a fence apparently protected us from bandits. Who knew, next time bandits, or next time someone attacks my house, I'm gonna hide behind a fence. Apparently that's gonna work. Hello, anyone still alive? Hello. That's chaos. Is this what I wanna be? Is this? Is this will happen if I keep up with my deeds? Nah, I'm not that bad. No, of course not. Still, we gotta find our sister and family before we leave, because apparently we don't know the fact that they're dead already, even though the narrator just told us. Yes, I just told you about that. Why would you do such a thing? To save you the heartache before you found out yourself. But story-wise, I'm supposed to find out anyway and see it for myself. Oh, well, sorry about that. All right, let's check on the house, see if we can see if we can find any survivors or anything. Ha 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 ha! 
We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze. And I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! Huh, so now we've just been easily... Ex First we've been saved by Maze, taken to the Hall of Heroes, and then made to join their group. Do I really get any say in this? And what hi, are Whisper. you talking to me for? Get down to the melee ring. Well, I just want to know more about your accent. It's clearly not British, it's like Jamaican. Does that world even exist in this world? Aren't you supposed to be from this world? I don't even know anything about you. But I assume that we're roommates. We're, we're going to form an irreparable bond over the course of our adventures to where... We might either be like, like, heroes or rivals or possibly even a love interest. Oh, crossing the fingers! But uh, but you'll be here throughout the whole game to to interact with at all times, right? Right? Mm. Oh, of course we will. They wouldn't bring in a character like that and just make it just a throwaway, right? 
Yeah, no, they wouldn't do that. Anyway, let's uh, follow Whisper to uh, find the Guildmaster. Let's see, we are in the Hall of Heroes in Albion. Oh, apparently we now know where we are. Ooh, books and everything around here. I probably won't mess with this right now, but later on I will. Searching through containers is a good way to find hardy hindy items. Be careful if you're planning on stealing from a house. The, library. the game already tells me about stealing. You can learn a Ooh. lot from the books here. Creature of Albion, book three. Ah, yeah, well, we could just steal it. Oh, find nothing interesting. I probably won't do this right now, but I probably will. like try to randomly go through books to see if I can or shelves and stuff like that to find the arena. I can read this later. I'm probably not going to read most of this stuff on screen, frankly, for the most part. Uh, dragons, tail, twin blade. Ooh, that sounds cool. Uh, where the wastes? An interesting old kingdom. Most of the stuff is probably to give us background on uh, information in the game. So, uh, let's see, I don't think I checked these out yet. Pale Balverine. Ooh, Balverine. So that sounds kind of cool. It's like a Wolverine, but pale, or a Wolverine that's sick or something like that. Hey, bub, get me some antacids. I'm not feeling too good. <laughs> Hello. Another way to interact with people is to use expressions. These simple actions and skills can be used from the directional pad in the same way as objects and will appear when appropriate. New expressions are required through changes in alignment, renown, and other ways. Right there, big man. So we can <laughs> We can laugh. Or we can Oh yeah. Well, that sounds about right for a kid, so let's continue on. There's quite a, lo a lot of monkish lovely ladies around here. A boy could, boy could uh, accept growing up in a place like this. We'll talk to the guildmaster here in a second, just kind of getting our bearings. Ooh, hello. This You've is got the green shop. color. When you're older, you can buy stuff here. I don't want to buy stuff now. Oh, wait, I've only got one more point. You again, boy. All right. Well, how do you know I'm gonna live that far? I could, I could suffer from, uh, like, uh, syphilis or something like that, or. Uh, or whatever ki uh, kids died of uh, in our earlier days. Uh, was it dysentery from do. Oregon Trail? The cloisters are so quiet. Well, you seem quite nice, Whisper. I hope we get to know each other more over the course of our years as our roommates. Here rests the body of Holder. Holder? Hodor? Hodor to Hodor? The great warrior tamed the last dragon seen in Albion and rode into countless battles. As commander of the Dragon Knights, he kept watch over all men and women of the southern lands. Oh, well. I wonder if they buried him with I'm his money. I'm going to be buried here when I die. If I don't make it home fast. Oh, well, uh, I, I guess that's something to aspire to. I guess it's being buried as a hero. This grave awaits a hero where they join the legends who lie there. Oh. Wait, is that our, is that our quest? To, to end up being buried here by the end of the game. Here is the buried remains of Solius. Solius, the legendary mage who sacrificed his own life while performing his greatest spell and closing, closing a vortex that threatened a gulf, gulf bower stone. Oh, it must be a town in the world of Albion. Here lies Delphi, once the most powerful sorceress in Albion. Though she dedicated most of her life to selfish pursuits and the torment of others, she later repented and renounced her most devastating powers for the good of the guild. Oh, see, even bad guys can be repented. Has beaten that. Yeah, well, if it wasn't for my injured leg, I'd beat that time. No, I'm the fastest guild apprentice by mine. You're the most arrogant, that's for sure. I'm the fastest. Oh, no, apparently you're you guys not. got a quabble. Yes, we're discussing whether I'm the fastest apprentice in this guild. Well, uh, are you? I ran to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. Beat that. Where's the demon door? Uh, well, well, at least I don't you're know not where the demon stupid. door is. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna find out where this demon door is and beat beat you no, beat you there. Alright, where's this demon door? I don't wanna know where this thing is. And what the hell is a demon door? Okay. Let's see, let's explore around before we talk to the guildmaster. I don't want to start that quest up just yet. As long as I don't talk to Duder, I should be fine. Where is this demon door? Actually, I think I think it's like around here or somewhere that I remember correctly. Oh no, that takes us to the woods, right? We can't. Can we leave? Oh, we can leave. Oh, okay. Whispers like, "What are you doing? What are you doing, man? You're just making me crazy." Now right, we'll go back there in a second. Actually, what is in here anyway? I mean, we'll find out about this later. I'm just trying to find this demon door. I don't think it's actually in here, but. Uh, 
But yeah, Demon Door, that sounds ominous. I guess this is not that. I guess this must be a training area. Alright. Time to go back. I guess the Demon Door is somewhere in the guild hall. Don't worry, folks. We'll get we'll get to the plot. Don't worry. I mean, we had some plot at the beginning, of course, but you know what I mean. Get to some action or something. Just want to get my surroundings and get my bearings at the Heroes Guild Hall. Yeah, we're still not out of the tutorial levels of the game. Oh, there you are, Whisper. Didn't like me running off on my own, huh? Let's see. This is where the archers train. I prefer using my staff. Oh, you're a bow user, huh? An actual bow, not a or bow staff. Sorry. Let's see. Where's this door? Ooh, hello. This is. This looks ominous. Hello. Yeah, got stuck. No, <laughs> stop that. All right, anyway, come on, come on, game. You just discovered the demon door. These ancient guardians were built to protect all manner of secrets. If you can satisfy a demon door, it may choose to let you Your through. Your path is dark. Okay. Only a light will reveal it, and you are not bright enough. Basically, what that means is uh, during the course of the game, you can either be, uh, you know, do evil deeds or bad deeds, or good deeds or bad deeds. Oh, well, thank you for the information. Anyway, uh, if you get really, really good, uh, like, light-sided, you start growing, like, butterflies and uh, light radiates off of you. Uh, but if you go dark, you start getting a dark ore and horns and stuff like that. Basically, as if I remember correctly, that door, you have to, um, you have to be full... Uh, yes, like a hundred percent light side, so no, you're to, not. to get past We're that door. I forgot what's inside though. In yeah, I ran yeah, yeah. to the demon door. Well, I'm gonna try it that. Out, right so. then, get to the demon door and back, and talk to me in fifty seconds. If I don't, if I don't get stuck in the rocks, yes, uh, uh, run, 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 no, oh, run. Oh god, I'm probably gonna lose already. All right, let's do. Let's see if we can get to that demon door and back. <laughs> run, get out of my way. Trying to win renown and possibly money. Who knows? Just hopefully I don't get stuck on the uh, rocks like I did before. I'll probably be fine. Just run through, run fast. Okay, touch the door. And then run back. Oh, come on. I'm probably going to fail this. Or did I actually have to talk to the door? I hope I didn't actually have to talk to the door. I hope I just had to be uh, in the general vicinity of the door. Crap, I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Come on. Come on. Nuts, if I hadn't gotten stuck on that wall, I would have gotten it. No, you're not. Sorry, Nuts. you're slower than my grandma. Shut up, Edge Lord. Yes, I am. Right. Let's do that again. You again? From a different perspective. You didn't do too well last time. Right then. I'm gonna do it again. Get to the demon. No, Alright, one not. more time, folks, and then, uh, and then if I don't do it, I'll uh, either do it off-screen or I'll uh, skip it. Alright, we can do it this time. Yay, this is what you wanted from me, folks. Running around and trying to do all these accomplishments and uh, that have no importance in the story. Hooray! Alright, so we're just going to get to the door. Come on. Okay, touch the door. And then run, run back. Run, run back. Come on. Nuts, I'm probably going to fail, aren't I? I wonder if I have to be older to do that. I don't have any spells or anything that, uh... Man, if I didn't get stuck, I would have been fine. Well, let's hurry and see. Maybe we'll be... Maybe we'll get lucky. Nuts! Ah! Yes, oh, Sorry, punk. you're slower than my... Nuts, no, okay. Not. All right. What I'm gonna do is I'm really gonna quickly yes, gonna I do am. it off screen, and I'm just gonna cut it to when I to no, when I successfully not. succeed in getting the the getting yes, the score. So, well, okay. I'll I'll cut to if no, I can actually not. do it. If I can't for some reason, like I don't have a ride yes, ability or I speed am. or something like that, then I'll just skip it. But no, I'm gonna find not. out. So give me just a second, and I'll find out. So I'm yes, gonna cut I right am. here. No, you're not.
yes, I am. That's amazing. How did you do it? I lost my bet. Huh, it was actually it just took me two more tries after the fact, but hey, we get 25 gold pieces for beating the guy's challenge. Hooray! That, yeah, that only took that me two more tries, and basically it was me just. Ooh, hello. Quite a little tough nut there. Yeah, I am. Hopefully, you'll still look as good when we get older. I mean, uh, I'm 50. I'm, I'm like 12. Anyway, let's see what's in here. Ooh. It's like just an homage to heroes. See, we were. Oh, well then. Oh. Can we talk to that guy again? I don't know I guess? how he did it! I always win guild competitions! Hmm. Can you go up, like, in the. You are that quick. Anyway, he talks about how much he sucks, so... Alright, well, let's uh, keep kind of walking around. Let's see, I think that takes us back inside. Yeah, into the food... Uh, uh, into the eatery. Oh, and there's a place up here. I guess this episode's going to mainly be exploration for the most part. Which is fine. Oh, and more rooms. Okay, cool. But nothing interesting. Tale of Maxley. Moxley. I think in this game you also get a lot of... Uh, um, uh, uh, duplicates of stuff. So don't be don't be afraid to just accept the fact These that you might just get copies dogs. of one. Glad we don't have to sleep in. Why not? Do we have? Oh, I guess because we don't have to uh, riff raff with the common the common folk. Well, that makes sense, I guess. I whisper, you're a little bit more elitist than I thought you were. I still love you for it. Three haikus by Beaker the Bard. I used to be pretty good at haikus, not anymore, but. When I was in uh, English studies and stuff like that in my earlier days. Ooh, a tattoo. Found a tattoo card. Take it to the tattooist and turn your body into a walking gallery of beauty or a revolting freak show. Oh, you've watched freak show before, have you? I don't know. Some people find, uh, find tattoos pretty hot. I... A love story. Ooh, I'll read that later when it's bedtime. When I'm all lonely and by myself. Unless you want to join me, Whisper. Not in your life. No, I didn't think so. And that's the main area again, so, okay. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't like tattoos on myself because, I don't know, Temple is a pure body and all that jazz, but, uh, but on ladies, hey man, go crazy. Um, uh, actually, if you like, uh, I know I probably shouldn't be talking about this on a thing like this, but uh, if you like uh, w women with tattoos, you should check out Suicide Girls. Uh, and it is in a, uh, not safe for work, so kind of keep that in mind. But uh, um, it's basically girls who, who have tattoos and piercings and all that other all that other stuff that back in the day used to not be considered uh you know beautiful or whatever but i don't know i think they're pretty pretty cute most mm, of them are listen. can you help me out oh good more work to do well let's see if we can steal some things before we uh before we're forced into a, a hero's life for me you know hmm. okay we'll say nothing else so all right lady what do you want and Whisper's like, shouldn't we be going to the Guildmaster now? I'm not even doing a Jamaican accent. It's like, no, mm, yes. I must get random Can coins. You help me out? I have to make an apple pie for the Guildmaster at the end of the week. So that you're the cook, I guess. So isn't that your job? I can't find any more red apples. I only need another four. Can't you just go to the market and buy those? If you find enough, can Our... you bring them back here? I'll reward you. Are apples that rare? Or you're just that lazy? Sure, as long as I get paid for it. Not for any uh, obvious sense of uh, worth, because my family just died, you know, and all that fun jazz, so... Oh, it's already nighttime. I haven't taken too much... I forgot that there's a uh, uh, a time system in this game, day or night, so you got to keep that in mind when it comes to, like, sneaking about, causing causing trouble, and all that fun jazz, so if you're going to go that route, obviously if you're all good and hearty and all that, then you shouldn't have to worry about it. Too bad there's not, like, really an obvious light source in this game. I think you this can get a spell or... The guild woods. I heard giant beetles live there. Ooh, beetles. Are they the slimes of this game? Perhaps. Oh, do we have to... Cooking apple. What other types of apples are there? This is going to be hard, isn't it? Because it's not, the, it's not during the day, right? Should I just go back to bed and come back in the morning? So that way I can actually, like... Uh... Um... Uh, what's this? The people of Albion like nothing more than hiding their treasures inside wooden chests. You will also find special silver keys around the world. Open one, you need the correct number of keys. Hmm. Well then, 
I guess people in Albion are smarter than most other RPG worlds. Most of them just leave their pots and pans out in the middle of nowhere for little boys to steal. Who knew how silly they were? <laughs> Not walking their stuff. Who doesn't? Anyway. Uh, I don't think I saw any... I don't think the apples appear until you talk to that lady, which... Almost, you almost want to talk to the lady first, just so you can actually unlock all the apples. Uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of the episode. I might just go ahead and start the story. Because I don't think the story immediately progresses afterwards. Ooh, is that one? Ah, I didn't see that before. Man, that's the problem with seeing it at night and having like the glare on my screen. And no, I'm not blaming the glare specifically. I'm just saying at the time of, I'm playing... Ooh, maybe we'll find four already. Well, if that's the case, it's got to be out in, like, this, just this general area here. We might solve this sooner than we thought. So there's probably going to be one in, like, this area, right? The, the courtyard? Because I doubt there's going to be one in any of the buildings. If I'm not the fastest, I must be the best at something. Uh, poor random NPC. You'll find out shortly but, sh uh, shortly but surely that, uh, not everyone is a special snowflake. I should know. I'm not a special snowflake either. And I admit that. We're not all special snowflakes. Sometimes you just have to admit the fact that uh, that we're not all, like, you know, destined for greatness. If you believe in destiny and all that. I don't know if I believe that, but uh, there's got to be, like, there's got to be another apple around here somewhere. Because I don't think, I don't think it's in any, I mean, there's no indication otherwise they shouldn't be in a building, but... And I know in the future, I'm going to make sure that if I do quests like this, I'm going to try to, like, finish them as efficiently as I can. So that might mean me, like, looking up, like, locations to items and stuff like that. So that way... Prepare for bed! Oh, uh, we're supposed to be in bed by now? Yeah, might as well check the Guild Woods out before we do that. I wonder if we can still do the quest, despite the fact we need to, uh... We need to be in bed. Because I know in the game you can get uh, you can get caught for like not uh, um, not going to bed on time. They're like you're dilly dally dilly dallying around here. All right, I don't think I see. I didn't think there were supposed to be any apples in this place. It has been quite a while since I've last played this game. I will admit. Uh, I try to think the last time I actually picked up a uh, fable. I think it was quite a few years ago, actually. Uh, I mean, because there was a time. Like uh, back in the mid two thousands, where I played, uh, would would uh, during some slow times in my life, I actually went back and played like a lot of games. So that was like almost a decade ago. There's a lot of games I haven't played, but that's because there's always something new this is the around the to bend. The woods. Well, there it is. Giant Did that appear randomly? There. I think that appeared randomly. There's no way that that wasn't there before. It must have reset when I walked in and out. Whatever. Give me. I'm just gonna give that lady the. Uh, Apples, and then we'll do a little bit of the Guildmaster's quest and then call it an episode. So I might make this episode run a little longer. Have you found those apples for me yet? Sure have. Thanks. Thank you so much. The Guildmaster will get his pie. I'm not doing this for free, lady. Have this. Thank you. Blueberry. But I was grabbing apples. Shouldn't I get an apple pie, not a blueberry pie? And why didn't you give him the blueberry pie? Ah. <sighs> All right. Now, apparently, there's another quest we can do around here before we do the guild. I kind of want to, you know what? Uh, we'll just save. We'll just save uh, story uh, quests for the next episode. Uh, so let's see if we can find the the person because all the green symbols are supposed to be uh, quests and stuff like that, right? So I'm surprised Whisper has not told us to get off off our butts and go uh, and go. Uh, um, no, I guess there's... Maybe it's upstairs. Like, maybe I have to find a way upstairs, because there's no, uh... Unless it's in one of these rooms, and I missed it. Oh, maybe it's upstairs. Okay, I didn't notice that before. Oh, is that a load speaker? The length is of no consequence. The Oracle must be protected. How can you be so sure? We might need you here. Who knows what battles we might face? The signs are too strong to ignore, and the Northern Wastes have been too long isolated from the Guild. There is much I may learn there. Well, I hope nobody thinks you're running away from a fight, trying to cheat death again. You know how people talk. 
talk is of no matter to me. May death close his eyes to you, Maze. What are you waiting for? Come in. That was Scythe. He was a great hero once, back when he had flesh on his bones and blood in his veins. He's just a shell now. What does he know of the choices we have to make, of what it takes to get things done? Dude, apparently there's undead people in this game. Cool. Anyway. Hey, Guildmaster. No, boy. You're supposed to report to the Guildmaster, not me. Er, sorry, you're not the Guildmaster, you're the owner You can of always the find out where he is by looking at your map. Do you always talk to people like that? Like, just tell them, just give them maps and say, hey, here he is on your map. But he's a real person, Maze. He might not be there next time, you know. Ooh, Jack of Blades. Ooh, that sounds cool. A history of the guild. Jack of Blades, I wonder if he's like some uh, some nefarious thief always Maze causing trouble upstairs. in the world of man. Best stay away though. He's a scary man. Oh, he talked to me just fine, lady. Or whisper. It's fine. It's fine. He's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. Well, we've done a bit of exploring in our house. We found out the death of our... Well, it's been a very, very uh, crazy episode of Fable because we found out our sister and mother have been kidnapped. Well, actually, I don't know if we know that they've been kidnapped. We just know... We believe that they're dead, but the narrators told us otherwise. Our father's dead. Our, our village has been burned to the ground. And now we're in the Hall of Heroes, which apparently we're going to be raised to be heroes because apparently there's no orphanages in this world. But hey, we got a, a, a we got a beautiful Jamaican uh, lady as our roommate, and the sun is coming up in the horizon. I think, despite all the bad things that happened, things are looking up for the young boy hero. Will the young boy hero turn out to be the hero that he's always truly destined to be? Or will he learn that uh, being a hero is tougher than he imagined? Perhaps he'll take the cheap way out. Find out what happens in the next episode of Fable. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.